I've lived in Birmingham, New York, LA, and Colombia, Medellin. You start to pick up a lot of cultures. You start to understand this sport isn't just football. Understanding those who probably don't understand you, but it's at the end of the day, it's a team sport, and you have to find a way to, to connect with, with everybody because you, at the end of the day, you need everybody. My dad is Juan Pablo Angel, a former soccer player. If you have a dream, you, you fight for it no matter what, no matter the, the obstacles, no matter the, the wins, the, the, the losses, just have to go for it. I came here to, to grab again my confidence, to grab again my consistency of minutes and my rhythm of, of games. I was looking for minutes and Phoenix gave me the opportunity to come and, and have minutes that I think in my whole life I've, I haven't played 10 games in a row and hopefully with, with the upcoming games uh, I can achieve that goal. Every time I played with the national team uh, it, was, it was amazing, I would play very good. The World Cup obviously represent your, your country, it's something to be proud of and something very big. I hate losing. <laughs> I swear I hate losing. I, I don't even care if it's a three-year-old boy. I'll, I'll play hard. I'll play rough on them because it's, it's how I was taught as a, as a little kid and how I grew up. Obviously the sport is, is a competitive sport and you, you start to adapt to it and it's in your veins. So I think the only way you can leave, how I said um, your name, is by winning titles, by winning championships, and obviously scoring goals. So I obviously want and desire to, to wherever I go, at least win titles and score goals to, so you can be in the history. And I've already did it in Nacional, and I hope to do it this year and leave Phoenix with, with a title.